Hi everyone, Lucia, thanks for stopping by. So, I've got uh, a little bits and pieces video for you today. I've got a little Happy Meal, thank you very much. Uh, I've got um, a little Christmas decoration that we got at the weekend when we went shopping. I've got a completion review and then I've got some uh, items that I got for Christmas last year that I didn't get completed and amongst all the ones that I did get completed. So I thought you might like to just have a quick look at those as well. Okay, but first I'm going to have a look at my Happy Meal. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it did get a little bit squished. Oops, I just had the address there uh, but yeah it's got a little bit squished in the post i'm not quite sure what happened i think it's maybe got concertinaed up in the uh, little machine that it goes through or whatever so we did get an apology from the post office but uh, hopefully everything inside is okay right so let me have a look oh we've got a little parcel and let me see, let me see, what's this, what's this? Just a little set, something to say thank you so much. And this is from Maxine Wilson. Uh, Maxine has been chatting to me on Instagram for quite a while. Lovely lady. So, yay, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, exciting, exciting. Never a truer word spoken. Yes, silence is golden unless you have a Scotty. Then it's suspicious. Yes, very suspicious. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Thank you ever so much, Maxine, for finding this and sending it to me. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a little magnet, so that will go on my fridge, which will be quite funny because... Uh, yeah, as soon as the fridge door opens, Millie is an absolute milk monster. I know you're not supposed to give dogs milk, but try telling Millie that. She is obsessed, and as soon as she hears the fridge, she is there. She can be asleep anywhere in the house, and you open the fridge door really, really gently. <laughs> And then, boom, she says, I'm next to you. But, uh, yeah, I must admit, particularly when she was a puppy, you'd sort of be sat and you'd be doing things and you'd think, oh, she's sat next to me. And then you usually think, she's not sat next to me anymore. Where is she gone? And, yeah, she'd be up to something she shouldn't be. So, yeah, that is absolutely brilliant. And it looks like my little Millie Moo as well. Oh, oh, I love all my Scotty things. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. I will treasure that. So, yeah, thank you, Maxie. Oh, silence is golden unless you have a Scotty. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we went uh, shopping at the weekend. We just went out for lunch and hubby picked this up um it is actually the wrong spelling of millie i mean it doesn't really make much difference we usually put a y on the end but if it's ie or whatever it really doesn't matter and uh, yeah we just saw that so we thought we'd get that to put on the uh, scotty christmas tree this year it's quite nice because it sort of spins i don't know if you can see all the little bits on it spin so yeah, we'll have to hang it on a good branch so that it can spin round. But just thought that was a little novelty that was quite nice to have. And uh, yeah, when I was looking through my Christmas things, I found my uh, Christmas card. Um, I did get it. I don't think it was this year. I think it was the year before from Archie Scotty. Um, Archie Scotty is on Etsy, does have a shop. Um, I do know him. I'm hoping to see him on Sunday. We've got our Scotty uh, Scotty Dog Rescue Stecks uh, Scottish Terrier Emergency Care Scheme Christmas Party on Sunday. So, yeah, I hope he'll be there as well. But, yeah, it's just a little, like, penny slider card. Um, and it's just got a little Santa. And it's one of those. I bought it for Hubby. Um, I decided not to put any uh, names or anything on it or any writing on it. I just wanted to keep it as was. And it's Millie running through the snow. So I just keep it and bring it out every year now as a Christmas decoration. So, yeah, I could sit and play with that for hours. So I thought you might quite like to see that. And then these are some key rings I've been quickly doing. So I want to be putting them into people's uh, Christmas cards and uh, little presents and things. 
so yeah uh, it was a set i believe i got these from amazon last year so these are from last year's stash and i didn't get around to getting them done so it's a set of i think 12 10 12 key rings uh, let's get them out lots of spare drills left over okay i think i must have changed out some drills because i've got those oh no no i remember it was really strange uh there wasn't a letter f um or if there was i didn't find it so yeah as i was going through doing the drills say so i you know i've put them all in little bags as i've done them uh, and yeah i ended up with the pack that i didn't use so unless i've missed it and covered them over with something else um, there was an extra pack of drills <laughs> sadly no dmc numbers uh, mind you it's crystals anyway isn't it so yeah but i just thought these were so cute last year and i think they were a really good price as well i think they were less than a pound each so it will have been less than 12 pound for a full set of 10 and they went on really really well I, I to be honest when i do a set like this i tend to just get them all um and start with probably one of the biggest colors so i started i think with the white because that's more or less on every i think it is on every single oh no it's not on that one more or less on every single one uh, and then i did the green because that was more or less on each one and then i think the red and then i just filled in with all the others so yeah i've got quite a few leftovers some whites and some blacks to go in my jars for whites and blacks and then i've got some extra specials which are larger sizes these will just go in my general crystals There's some big gold stars there uh, but yeah they were just a bit of fun to do i thought oh, i just need something small and quick to do and just have a bit of fun so they'll go I'll go in my standard crystals pop those out of the way and then these will all go in my specials uh, i'm not going to put them away today um i will add them into uh, another video when i'm putting some more away in another video okay but yeah they all came with uh, a lobster claw clasp keychain which is excellent so you've got the choice. There's no jump rings on there. Mind you, I suppose you don't need them. Um, you've got the choice of either just putting the little chain on, which has got like the ball that snaps into the fastening there, um, or putting the lobster claw clasp on as well. Uh, let's put the reindeer. Let's uh, do him. So it's just a case of, oops, if you can see if it's going to focus for me. Yeah, thread it through the little pre-drilled hole. Put your little lobster claw clasp on there. I'm going to put this. I mean, you could use these as tree decorations as well. They'd look really pretty. And then this is quite fiddly when you've got longer nails, I must admit. Although one hand is long and one hand is short at the moment. What can I say? So let's just see if we can get this. So that little bit there is just going to go into there. Difficult to do up in the air and then just pull it back and it just snaps into place and then you've got your little key ring and as a safe thing for the money that i paid i'll try and find the link for them but it was last year so whether they'll still be for sale now i'm not sure um but there are quite a few similar things on uh, amazon at the moment they do all need sealing as well because obviously with being a key ring you know with the best will in the world if you start getting them bashed around the drills are likely to move so yeah that was my little set that i thought you might like to see got a couple of santas we've got a stocking the bell i like that one um that's like a candy cane and then they've done it in the shape of a heart as well so but they've matched all the colors up lovely as well i love the little wreath uh, and your little gingerbread house and some candles and a tree and then a little gingerbread man yay so just thought that was a real pretty set really enjoyed doing those just something a little bit different like i said i do need to get them sealed so that will be uh, done very shortly so that i can get them put into christmas cards and things pop them back into here for now oh i love that that's just really making me chuckle <laughs> Hope you'll think that's really funny as well. <laughs> okay, and then um, I tend to keep wreaths and 
various uh, projects in these flat boxes if they're like a flatter uh, item. Move that over there. All right, because they just fit nicely. Now this is my craft buddy Disney princess wreath. Um, I did do a lot of wreaths last year, but I didn't get this one done. So I'm determined to do this one this year. It's a 12 inch wreath, I believe, and it is an MDF one. Comes with its own little hanger already pre-done. It is licensed to Disney as well from Craft Buddy Crystal Art. And yeah, it's your three Disney princesses, which I thought was really sweet. Um, so I've bought one of these set for my daughter as well. She's got one to do for... I don't know if I bought her at last Christmas or so this Christmas. I may have bought her it in the sale this year because uh, I know she was wanting one. So, yeah, so that's uh, one to do from uh, this year. Plus, I've got another two Craft Buddy Crystal Art um, reads to do from this year as well. <laughs> okay, then I've got my set of stars. Oops, sorry, I've got the... Um... <laughs> the things over the front the stickers over the front with the drill number and everything on so that's the little santa i think these were possibly from aliexpress again last year um so yeah they were like a matching pair um so you could put one at one side of the uh, say mantelpiece or if you've got a unit or something and one at the other so yeah they like contrasting colors one's red and one's green um all in different places so i've got those to do again they're about a 12 inch uh, long um star so they're quite nice i just like the faces on those a uh, nice smiley snowman i've then got another one of these trees with a hanging decoration in it um now then which one was this one <laughs> Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, it's the owls. So you decorate the tree. It is just one-sided, so a bit quicker project to do. And then when it's done, you just literally hang um, like the bauble with the owls on from the um, tree there. And then it has a little stand. But you just stand it in. So I'm not going to go through these fully because there are unboxings from last year of all these if you do want to see them. Um, I desperately can't remember where I got this from. I've not even labelled this one. Look, I must have got this one quite late on. That's why I've not got it done. <laughs> I have got one um, that I've already put downstairs that I did complete last year. And that was a little um, Santa Claus on a swing hanging from a green tree. So this is sort of a bit more subtle colours. This one's sort of more black and muted colours. So yeah, I've got him to do. Or them to do, should I say. And then what are these? Oh, these are the like little hanging uh, things. What's that for? Oh, that's the Santa Snow. Um, but it's a good job I label them and keep them all together, otherwise I just wouldn't have a clue. So I've got these little uh, snowman and Santa. I seem to get everything in pairs last year. Um, the ones where you drill them up and then you hang them on a chain and they have the lovely big crystal hanging from the bottom so i've not put where i got those from either must try and find out where they came from okay uh, that light up which one does that go to then that's uh, some led lights that i've put in here and I do oh i know what they belong to they belong to these these are some christmas decorations these are the um they're actually cardboard but uh, let me just see did to actually fold one of them did i complete one of them i'm sure there was more than three i must have done one um and then put the others away oh no i did yeah they actually fold into a star so if you can sort of see you've got dotted sort of lines going through so you fold them inwards like that to make your star shape and then this one at the other side folds the same as well and they make like a little box star. So you will then just put some cellar tape or sticky tape onto your star at both sides. Just like a little box. And it folds into like a little box star there. Uh, it took a bit of working out to be fair when I was looking at them. And then you've got your lights that just thread through them. So there's just three little uh, decorations to hang. Or you could just do them 
on their own. They're quite nice as a little box as well if you sort of maybe put a bit of Velcro so that one side can open easily. Um, you could put a little gift or something and put them in the tree and put a little chocolate or something or a little toy inside. Oh, <laughs> it's alive. Just tried to jump over my shoulder. Goodness me. <laughs> Don't know where that one was going then. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got the little skating Santa. So I never got these done, but there's not much to do on them, to be fair. So yeah, I must have decided I wanted to do something else first. We've got the little snowman, and I love the penguin. I think he's really, really sweet. Uh, thinking about it, I probably will do these separately because yeah, I mean they've got all the holes punched in them. I think you can see on the back so that the lights will shine through um i suppose you could maybe put a little tea light or something inside the not a real one not a candle one a battery operated one uh, don't be setting fire to your trees <laughs> um, so yeah i'll have to have a think about that because i mean three sort of like strung together aren't really going to look much unless you sort of did it like that so that you've got them uh, in like a pattern so you've got santa and uh, penguin there and maybe snowman up there yeah i'll have to have a think about that but, uh, yeah so that is my last year's one to get done considering how much i had i did get a lot done so i'm hoping to get the same amount done this year <laughs> famous last words okay well that uh, is quite a bit of things to get done for this year. So, just uh, as a quick little video, just to show you what uh, I've been up to, what's happening, uh, and what's hopefully going to happen in the future. <laughs> so, a huge thank you to my happy to Maxine for my happy meal I absolutely love it this is going straight downstairs onto my fridge so I can see it every time I open the fridge door and it will make me laugh uh, I've got all my things to have a look through and see yeah, and what order I'm going to do with them and where they're going to go I've done all my little key rings and then I say pop across to Archie Scotty's uh, little Etsy shop there and just have a look at his cards and raw tie and things not just Scotty's other dogs and other things as well uh, he's a very very clever chap so yeah pop across and have a look at his shop and then yeah just my little Millie keychain there that we bought um, well Christmas decoration sorry and it has got a little bell on it as well yay <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is very much appreciated as always. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to come back and see what I get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.